Hello guys, my name is Jean Sebastien Charles, and today I'm going to show you three ways to teleport your characters around the world of your instance. So I'm changing the format a bit on how I do stuff. Um, I'm going to show you exactly what I'm going to teach you, and I'll show you afterward how to do it. So first way to do it is have an item in your world that you just click on, and it teleports you back to a desired point in your instance. Second way to do it is having a platform or a zone and if I enter that platform well I get teleported without clicking anything and third solution having an item in my bag and if I click on it it teleports me to that platform and it has been used so it could be used for scrolls or teleport or stuff like that so how to do it you'll see it's pretty easy if I go into my scene here I have those objects, so the click to teleport here, if I open it up, actually the only thing you need to do is on the actual object is to add this component, it's called interactive object, so as you can see it has like instance, it's an instance portal, and you want to change to the same instance or you can go to another instance, then I you uh, the interaction duration means like how many seconds gonna wait for it to trigger so it could put 10 seconds before it can be teleported and respawn time means that this object would disappear from the world so let's say you have a flag and only one person can teleport using that flag and it only respawns three minutes later then you would put like uh, 360 180 seconds here then it would respawn the flag with so somebody else can click on it uh, highlight color is when I hover over, it's going to change color and you can set an icon of when your mouse goes over that item. Then if I go to the platform over here, if I open it up, actually you don't even need this, could be hidden actually. What you need to do is add a box collider, so as always add component, you add a box collider you set it as a trigger as you can see this is my box collider here Bring it a little bit closer so box collider is here and you need to add the Adivis region script to it and you set this a type of teleport and goes to instant and once again you select the position you want to get back into the world so my 010 means I'm going back to the spawn teleporter that's actually over here and just a little bit up so that's why I have one over there next thing you need to do is go into the Adivis online and go down here to instance object and then you manage interactive object these are the one you click on so either you delete them all I can do that yes delete and sorry I'll add that running so all the notes has been deleted and then save interactive object and the notes have been saved here. Next for the region, these are the zone trigger, the, the collider box I showed you how to do. Then you would do the same, delete if you want to delete them and then just save regions. As always, you need to restart your server after like you've done all the transaction all different regions saved and the last one I'm going to show you is how to do the scroll of teleport actually you need to go into you'll need three things you'll need to go into effects and do a teleport effect and when you click on it you're gonna get the teleport here so you write down the name say it's a teleport effect it should be already selected for you teleport type standard and then you have what instance you want to use and that's about and the location here sorry so you can either you can either drag a game object here or you can set the coordinate by hand next thing you'll need to do is go into the abilities and you create a new ability and i'll show you the ability how it's done so it's a, the name of the ability is teleport. Ability type 
it needs to be friendly affectability. The skill is if you would need a skill to be able to use that scroll. Then you go down here and you're going to say you're going to use a region for it. And it's going to be the region to the part. It's going to be the item. You need to create the item first. And you're going to say it is consumed. Down here, you need to say the effect that goes with that ability. And actually, it, the caster is the one that's going to be used for the ability. And you're going to use the effect teleport. So if I go into items, items here. And I go into my items. So if I go to my teleport item, so that was my scroll I had in my bag. So it's teleport consumable. Just letting you know, even if it says consumable, if you haven't checked it in the ability that it used the region, it won't uh, delete the one you have in your bag or like do a minus one. And then you can do the stack limit and add like all the other stuff. But you need to go into effect type use ability and use my teleport ability. And after you've done all that, save data on each of them. And you'll need to go to your server and once again, do a restart. So that was how to use the three different type of teleport in the Atavis 2.6.0. Once again, my name is Jean-Sébastien Seychelles. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing and liking the videos. If you need to Leave any comments, leave them below. I'll be more than happy to answer them all. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.